Hey, my boo, hi. It is day 16 of October, which means it's also October 16, 2014. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I am late for work, so I am speed walking. Um, yeah, yesterday was raining, and today is a really gorgeous day. The sun is out. Um, nice, cool weather. Almost feels like fall, but not quite yet. Good morning. Day four here at HCF. Um, feeling surprisingly good. Thought I'd be a lot more sore. I think I uh, slept pretty well. I think that was a big factor. Uh, gonna try to hit another PR and have another good workout. As I said earlier, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna find, oh, that's a weird looking car. I'm gonna find um, something to wear to a wedding this weekend. We're going to Monterey and one of our good friends got married already um they got married they had a kind of a destination wedding in new orleans but now they're having their local reception which is in monterey um yeah so it's gonna be fun you guys are gonna come along for the ride today's wad 10 minute amrap means we have to do this continuously for 10 minutes no pr today unfortunately um i was I was very close to it, unfortunately. I'll show you the video, but I kipped it, meaning I used my legs to bring the bar up over my uh, over my head, and it didn't count. I'm vlogging. Vlog with a V. I'm vlogging myself. I do. I do. <laughs> I got a couple subscribers. There's a crew over here. This is our dancer here. Chelsea the dancer. You may have seen her on sites such as IG and Facebook and her recent post of flash mobbing. Heck yes. So. So I got uh, a gluten-free pizza. Uh, you can only get a full, full pizza. So. I'm waiting, and what they did was give me two slices while I wait, but of the regular style pizza. Arugula, criminy mushroom, all that gooeyness from the cheese. Can't wait. I just got off work and I'm headed to the eye doctor. I think I need some new glasses, which is why uh, I'm getting these headaches, but yeah, I just need to get my eyes checked. So I'm here, I have an appointment at five. So I'm rushing, because as usual, I'm late. I can take it for you too, if you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, a couple different styles, but lots of, um, of them, so All right, you can, I'm just taking um, video. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so what do you think? These are cat eye? Yeah. Cat eye. wasn't feeling the selection they ow I freaking oh my god I just hit my teeth oh my god. I'm a mess right now um yeah I can't even see I gotta stand back but uh yeah they I didn't want to make a decision if my vision was compromised so i said i'll just come back and honestly i didn't really like their selection it was i it was okay the guy was uh kind of he was cool he was really cool but i didn't really like their selection it wasn't for me um i might have to go somewhere else the thing about glasses is that ever since my 
dermatologist or my esthetician told me yesterday that the reason why I have bumps here is because of my glasses. Now I'm thinking I probably should just not even wear glasses and just wear contacts. But honestly, I don't like to wear contacts because I feel like it dries out my eyes. But um, I think there's some solution or eye drops I can use to fix that. I'm actually looking into LASIK surgery because my friend, again, Maria, the one who has really nice skin, she got LASIK surgery and so did my other friend and they're both really happy with it. So I think I might just do that. Um, and I always tend to lose my glasses. So, all right. Go Giants! I don't even know what the score is. It's about seven o'clock, so yeah. I'm gonna go home, eat a little dinner, do some grading. All right, just got home. It's about seven o'clock. Um, Giants are down by one, so it's three to one, but it's still, there's still a lot of ball left to play. It's, uh, I think, top of the seventh. Anyways, I'm making myself dinner and I'm not really that hungry. So one of the perks about um, not having kids and Mel being at work usually during dinner time is that I can eat whatever I want for dinner. Today, I'm just gonna have salami and cheese goat cheese with crackers because I'm not I had a really huge lunch oh and I might have a, a salad too so I'm gonna have some of that uh, I'm probably gonna eat most of this for work but this is a salad I got from Trader Joe's it's called um, artichoke and hearts of palm salad with a raspberry raspberry vinaigrette um, I don't know how I feel about the raspberry vinaigrette I'll try it I've never had that but um, I didn't want anything with chicken since I'm already having protein with the salami. So I bought this, the salami, and then I bought goat cheese, which Mel really likes goat cheese. This is with garlic and herb and crackers. And I'm going to add some fruit. So I don't know if anybody actually um, likes apples or peaches. You could do grapes too, but Mel and I went to a restaurant in L.A., and it was the first time I had apples and um, they were th thinly sliced apples and grapes and um, served with the cheese and salami. And since then, I've been really uh, a big fan of that. Sorry, I'm scratching my eyeball. I still can't see, by the way. Like, it's everything's so blurry. It's so weird. Anyways, I'm going to cut this into thin slices and uh, put it with my crackers and cheese. So here is my dinner, my side salad, which is actually, the, vin the vinaigrette is actually pretty good, um, kind of sweet and tangy. Um, this cutting board, shaped like California, was given to me by my friends Ryan and Rhonda. Um, they've got a huge place in San Francisco, they've got a huge garden, um, they prune trees, they're like living in the city but like farmers it's amazing but got this from them for christmas last year i got my crackers peaches some nuts a little bit of cheese and salami and that's my dinner oh and of course the water i didn't finish yesterday And you're curious to why I'm such a big fan of Van Damme. It's, I grew up to it. So like this is the this is the meme right here of Jean Claude Van Damme wearing a SF tank top. It's just a modified. But what's your three stages of Van Damme pandemonium? When I was a kid in the '80s, when when Bloodsport came out, 
that was the first time I discovered Van Damme. So from blood sport to kickboxer. And then when I got into college, it got revisited because of my roommates, uh, Rija and Joel. And we were such, fa- it just, we were big fans then in college. And then again, um, later in college when I met Robert, he was such a big fan. So there's been three waves of my life of how, how big Jean-Claude Van Damme has been. So I think it's, I think it's fitting that, that, we, that this meme has come out. So I've just been a fan my entire life. And you said that it's, and you said that it's, um, you know, uh, what did you say? You didn't think it was popular or something? Or? Not a lot of people know about Van Damme. Yeah, you thought that not a lot of people know about Jean-Claude Van Damme. I beg to differ. That is not true. A lot of people know about Jean-Claude Van Damme and are big fans to this day. I know that for a fact. That's all I'm talking about. <laughs> No more Jean-Claude Van Damme talk. <laughs>